Whoa, what a double feature to have with the bad guys. Hey, both are about bad guys, I guess. Though this one significantly more raping and pillaging, and less to do with meteors and guinea pigs. Though it did kind of bookend my day, because I started out the day watching Cave Dwellers. Robert Eggers' The Northman is a pretty straightforward story, where a prince loses his father after the most psychedelic father-son camping trip I've ever seen. With the king being murdered and the son escaping, he grows up to be Alexander Skarsgård, raised by Vikings, and eats, drinks, and shits sheer brutality. This is a world so dark, so violent, so depressing pressing that I'm pretty sure no one has ever died of old age. They are just simply murdered in the most horrific of ways. The movie is unapologetic in showing how cruel this world is, and you don't get used to it either. There was a scene early on and in the last act that involves a nose, and I was like, oh my god, holy shit! I will never complain about the time I broke my nose in the third grade again. The chaos is disturbing. They do some very, very long takes of throat cuttings, people being beaten and set on fire, and you're just terrified about what you'll see next. Hell, even when they play sports, there are so many dead bodies and makes rollerball look like the way safer alternative. I love that nearly every character is a terrible person. We've got a protagonist here who we honestly see doing the same, if not more terrible things than the villain. But the movie doesn't shy away from that. It's not making this phony story about a Viking with a heart of gold. No, this guy is a stone cold murderer. And it's refreshing to see a movie just put that out there. This guy infiltrates this village by posing as a slave and messes with these royals by sneaking in at night and hanging bodies on the buildings like he's a medieval punisher. The director's previous movies like The Witch or The Lighthouse may be a little bit more character based than this, but they're all just different types of vibes. Here, it's the emotions like anger, resentment, or power that drives these characters and makes them great to watch. You've got so many scenes where they're just speaking in screams or grunts, and it works because they make a universe where you accept this and the visuals and story really pull you in, like you're watching Gladiator or Ben-Hur or Hamlet as performed by a pack of rabid dogs. There are standout performances, though. Alexander Skarsgård is perfect casting for a brutal-ass Viking. Nicole Kidman is fantastic in this wildly against type role. And I really love the small characters who just kind of come in for a scene or two. Like Willem Dafoe as a smart-ass jester. Then Bjork showing up. Because, I mean, come on, the movie's already trippy as hell. Might as well put Bjork in there. I really, really love this movie. I dig the director's work, and of his movies, this one's my favorite. I'm easily giving this movie an A. Last year, movies like The Last Duel and The Green Knight made my top ten list, and this is like someone stood outside those theaters with a sign that said, Want more of this? And my answer is yes, yes I do, so thank god we've got the Northmen with even more disturbing ass bloodshed than those other two movies combined. But obviously Vikings will be no match for the hero we have on our new t-shirt. Yes, designed by Sean Millington, pick up our latest limited edition t-shirt over at our snob store at bonfire.com. Show the world that you'll stop all that raping and pillaging in your city by wearing our Bat Pussy t-shirt. Get yours today while they last, and we'll see you next time.